Some people judge a movie solely based on its opening. I don't do that, but I sure love a great opening to a film. Hey everyone, welcome to their top 10 list. Welcome to my top 10 favorite opening scenes to movies. Yes, years ago I did my best and worst movie endings. And for years people have been saying, Where's your top 10 opening scenes? You did endings, but where's the opening scenes? Where's the opening scenes? Where's the opening scenes? Fuck it. Yeah. Here we go. Here's my opening scenes years later, and I'm excited to do this top 10 list. Not only do I have someone helping me with this top 10 list, but I love an opening scene to a film. Even bad movies have good openings and stuff, and an opening scene to a film really establishes the tone and what kind of story you're in for for which kind of movie you're going to watch it. Yeah, some good movies have bad openings, bad movies have good openings, but I'm here to judge just my personal favorite. And I have someone with me to do this. Yes, you just saw him a few weeks ago on my top 10 favorite child performances. You all know him. He's a great YouTuber, a great movie reviewer. He's the commissioner of Rotten or Fresh. Ryan O'Toole, introduce yourself. What's going on, guys? Ryan O'Toole here once again on Jay's channel. I hate being here. I'm just kidding. I love being here with you, Jay. I'm totally kidding, man. Uh, I'm excited to talk about our top 10 favorite movie openings because this list has topped the cake. Ugh, so many difficult choices, but I feel confident, man, with this list. I'm ready to get into it. All right. Uh, and before we start this, uh, we're going to do honorable mentions. Uh, Ryan's gonna go first, he'll do his honorable mentions, then I'll do my honorable mentions, then 10, 10, 9, 9, you know how it goes, so let's get started. Start off, buddy. Okay, this list may be biased, but it is my list, okay? No hate. But, here are my honorable mentions. I got six honorable mentions, and they are Blade Runner 2049, the opening scene, that is correct, it was amazing. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, the plane sequence. Tom Cruise hanging out of the plane, whoa! Uh, then I got Star Wars The Force Awakens, the Battle of Jakku. Inglorious Bastards, Hans Landa shootout. That fucking scene was amazing. American Psycho opening sequence with Christian Bale taking off his mask, like his little, his little face mask right there. Perfect scene. And my last honorable mention... Cheated a little bit, I combined both. Deadpool's opening credits slash opening car chase. Like, Deadpool, that film was amazing because of the opening credits and the opening car chase. So those are my six honorable mentions. Jay, what are yours? Mentions, very good. We all, we all have some similarities. All right, and my honorable mentions are... All right. Hey, I stopped that. <laughs> All right, my honorable mentions are Inglorious Bastards, like Ryan said, Logan, the opening to Logan, that brutal fight sequence, Pulp Fiction, uh, Alien, Vertigo, Goodfellas, Golden Eye, the opening tracking shot for the player, and Mission Impossible Three. Yes, then when Tom Cruise is when he's tied to the chair with Philip Seymour Hoffman, man, that's an intense opening scene. But yeah, those are my honorable mentions. All right, Ryan, what's your number ten? Awesome uh, choices, man. A couple of those are on my list in my top 10. All right. Coming in at number 10, for me, this isn't technically the opening scene of the film, but it takes place in the first 10 minutes. And I know Jay's going to agree with me on this. That is Carl and Ellie's montage in Up. Up, 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 up. Yeah, this this opening scene in Up is just, it starts off so great. You, you're you in love with this couple, Carl and Ellie. Like, they get married and they go through life and all that shit and a bunch of other stuff. But then it completely ends with, spoiler alert, his wife dying. It made me fucking cry all the time. And the reason why I put this scene at my top ten list, it's... The best opening I've ever seen in a Pixar film to date. I mean, I loved Up because of this fucking opening scene. It is incredible. It is why it got nominated for Best Picture. And it's just amazing opening sequence right there. Up, Carl and Ellie's montage, number 10. Yeah, you'll see that on my list, Joe, don't worry. But yeah, fit, yeah fantastic opening, you'll see it. Um, coming in number 10 for me is probably my favorite opening sequence to a horror film. 
and that is the opening to Halloween in 1978. The opening to Halloween is disturbing and just, it's so good. It's all a point of view shot of Michael Myers and him murdering his sister. It is terrifying, intense, and so well crafted. Because the opening, uh, Michael Myers is a little kid and his sister did not take him out for trick or treating. And basically, she's hooking up with her boyfriend upstairs, and you see the point of view shot of Michael Myers putting on his mask, taking a knife, going upstairs, and brutally killing his sister to death. All within a tracking shot and a point of view shot. It is super well done, incredibly well directed by John Carpenter. Love John Carpenter. And yeah, it is a intense scene, such a well directed scene. It is probably my favorite opening sequence to a horror film. I absolutely love it. It is terrifying, it is disturbing. It's Halloween, one of the great horror films and one of the great openings. Love that opening. Wow, that's a really good choice, man. Really good choice. All right, coming in at number nine for me is another recent release that the opening to this film is just incredible. My number nine is the opening battle sequence in War for the Planet of the Apes. Now, the film is absolutely incredible, and the film opens up with the military coming to attack the apes, the colonel's troops, Woody Harrelson. They're going to blow up the apes... The Apes home base and then ends up in this nice epic battle that the fans were hoping for in the title, but the film is a dramatic film. And I love this opening sequence. It has a nice bit of dialogue up front, like what has happened in the previous films, which is great. And then it, this battle sequence is incredible. Michael Giacchino scores fantastic. And it really sets you in the film with Caesar and the Apes and the story as well. So, the opening to War for the Planet of the Apes, easily in my top ten. Oh yeah, love War for the Planet of the Apes. Um, I don't have that on my top ten list, but that is a incredibly good opening sequence. Very good. Um, number nine for me. I don't know if, he ha if Ryan has this on his top ten list. He might. Uh, I think this is one of the great openings. That is the opening to The Dark Knight. Uh, the opening to The Dark Knight is it's introduced to... It's the introduction to the Joker. It opens with a man on the sidewalk holding a mask. He gets picked up, and basically the opening, it feels like a scene from the movie Heat. It is a bank robbing sequence. It is fucking intense, super well directed by Christopher Nolan. The Hans Zimmer score is absolutely incredible, and it is just so great. You can see all these bank robbers, and all of them kill each other through each point in uh, the sequence of the bank sequence. Basically, there's only going to be one person left alive and stuff, and you can see William Fitcher with a shotgun shooting at them and stuff, and it has Joker for their first introduction of him taking off the mask, and what do you believe in? I believe what doesn't kill you makes you stranger. Just such a fucking great opening, and I love the when the bus comes in, and the guy's like, what do the rest of them? He just fucking shoots him with a machine gun. It's just, it's such a crazy, intense opening. When I saw the Dark Knight opening, opening nights, when it came out, and this sequence came out, I'm like, oh my god, we're in for an amazing film. And we were. It's one of, it's my favorite superhero movie of all time. And this opening sequence is just truly remarkable, and I absolutely love it. One of my favorites. I don't know what's wrong, guys. Jay looked at my list or something. Uh, that scene is on my list, but it's higher on my list. But excellent pick, man. Excellent fucking scene. All right. Coming up next is another recent release, and Jay already mentioned this scene in his honorable mentions. Coming in at number eight is Logan, the opening gas fight sequence. Oh my god, that scene was brilliant. It sets us up for the entire film and what it's going to be. It's a rated R fucking Wolverine movie that we have been waiting for. We see these me Mexican thugs trying to break off Wolverine's car, and then they get into this realistic fight sequence and Wolverine is slicing dude's throats, cutting them up and beating the shit out of him at first and then he comes back and goes Rah! and kills them. Oh my god, such an amazing sequence and something I have been dreaming for in a Wolverine film. And it's just absolutely incredible fight sequences. So that was a good pick, man. Logan had to make the top ten list. I love that opening scene. That is a Badass, just fucking badass this shit. Uh, yeah, love it. Uh, coming in number eight for me is the opening sequence to the original Star Wars 1977. 
I love this opening scene. I'm not going to count the opening scrawl because some people are like, oh, that's an opening credit. Uh, it's amazing. It's John Williams' score. It tells you what's about to happen. The opening shot alone is one of the greatest opening shots to a film. It just shows one ship and then a bigger ship pass by. That is brilliant. That is amazing cinematography. That just shows that storytelling through visuals. You know which ones are the good guys. You know which ones are the bad guys. Rebels, Empire, Dominance. Like, you can tell who's winning the war automatically when you just watch the movie. You can tell, you can tell that they're small and dwindling, and they're big and dominant. Just that opening shot is absolutely brilliant. Like, my god, George Lucas, so well done. Why couldn't you do anything that brilliant in the prequels? But even though, even when you get inside the ship and you can see, like, the stormtroopers and the rebellion fighting each other, and then you can see Vader come out of the smoke, all of that is great. But the biggest thing I love about the opening sequence is that shot. I consider that one of that I consider that one of the greatest shots in all cinema. It is just brilliant cinematography and it's visual storytelling because film is visual storytelling. And we knew everything that we needed we knew everything that we needed to know about the story through 20 seconds of a shot. I think that is absolutely brilliant and that's why it is one of my favorite opening sequences of all time. Wow, you said it yourself, man. Amazing, amazing choice right there. All right, coming in at number seven for me is a classic, classic film right here, and it's the best opening battle sequence to a film in my favorite war movie of all time. That is Saving Private Ryan, the D-Day battle. Oh my God, this scene gets me every time. And I know Jay forgot it, but uh, yeah, wow, wow. Okay, uh, this opening battle sequence it's incredible. I mean, I don't have to say much words about it. Steven Spielberg knows how to craft war sequences, and soldiers are dying. It's so good. It, this is how the battles in Dunkirk should have been, in my opinion. This is how you open a war film right here. A bunch of soldiers going on a beach and people dying in shootouts and blood, gore, people's guts busting out. Oh my god, it's such a brilliant opening. It's just, it's it's really well crafted, and Spielberg is a god. The way he crafts this entire film with Tom Hanks and the rest of the soldiers, making it look completely realistic, and it had to make the top ten list. The D-Day battle from Saving Private Ryan. Ugh, why did I forget that? Ah, oh my god, uh, see, this is why... This is why it's difficult to make top ten lists, you know. So all you people, who comp all you people who complain complain about my lists in the comment section below. Well, you know what? It's difficult. So yeah, try it for once. Like God, now I know how Watch Mojo feels. Uh. Anyways, number seven, number seven. Uh, Mr. Ryan said it already. It's the opening to Up. Uh, Up is my favorite Pixar film of all time. I love Up so much. It just it holds something dear in my heart and. Yes, the opening is not exactly the montage that's after the opening, but I'm, I'm including the whole thing. Just how you see Carl and Ellie meet each other as kids, it is the most adorable relationship ever. You get to see him watch like his favorite movie about planes and stuff, and you get to see him meet Ellie, who is almost the complete opposite of him. He's very quiet, he's a very introvert, and she's like all hyper and spun and stuff, and they almost like complete each other. And then the opening uh, montage begins, and it's all music, there is no dialogue, again it's visual storytelling, and it breaks your heart. You get to see their life together, build a relationship together. You can see that they struggled through finances. She couldn't have a child and stuff. And basically, they save up money. He basically saves up money to take her on vacation, but then she gets sick. And then she eventually dies. And that's what turns them into a kind of a bitter old person in the beginning. And it wrecks you. Just the death of Ellie is so freaking sad and so heartbreaking. And the opening... The fact that they had no dialogue made it more emotionally impactful. The music and everything and the visuals, the brilliant animation, it just, it broke everyone's hearts. And it's one of the greatest opening scenes I have ever seen to a film. And yeah, Up. Love Up. Love that opening to Up. Okay. Coming in at number six, Jay already mentioned this in his honorable mentions. This is a fantastic opening scene that I agree with Jay. That is Pulp Fiction, the opening scene. Amazing opening sequence. Oh my god, the dialogue. 
freaking perfect. Quentin Tarantino is a legend. You got Tim Roth and his wife in the restaurant. Oh my god, the dialogue is perfect. Talk about Marcellus Wallace. And then they get up and they're like, hold up, this is a fucking robbery. And if you fucking pricks move, I'll execute every last motherfucking one of you. <clears throat> oh my god, that was a perfect opening sequence right there. Oh my god. And then, oh my god. I, I'm at a loss for words how amazing that opening sequence right there was. Just the dialogue was just amazing. And then it goes into the songs and everything. I agree with you, man. That was an amazing opening sequence that will be remembered for a long time. So my number six is Pulp Fiction opening scene. Hey, cool. I love it. I, obviously, uh, great, great opening scene. All right, number six. I hope Brian has this on his list because it, it'd be hilarious if he didn't. Because uh, we've actually debated about this before, but coming in number six is my opening scene to The Lion King. And yeah, I love the opening scene to The Lion King. It's the circle of life. Like, uh, I, this is the very first movie I saw in 1994. I was three years old. I was crying in the theater. And then that, op I, no, I shit you not, the opening scene shut me up. Just like how the how it opens with the sun and that it's just it's so good and you can see all these animals and how big the scope and size of this opening is just incredible and then the beautiful song the circle of life it is such a, a beautiful song it's my second favorite song in the Lion King be prepared it's my number one but uh. And you get to see all these animals, amazing animation. And you get to see our lead characters. You get to see Mufasa. And then Rafiki comes. And of course, how it ends with him picking Simba up and raising him in the air and stuff. And all the animals like just like cheer and stuff. It's just so big and so magnificent. It's just it's like an opus of an a opening. It's just one of the great openings. And it's so big and so cheerful. And like if that opening doesn't get you pumped up for Lion King, I don't know what will get you pumped up, but. Yeah, that, that opening has nostalgia for me, but I just think it's just so big, so beautiful, so great. I absolutely love it. The Lion King opening, so good. Awesome, awesome pick, man. You will see that farther into my list. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. So let's get going to the top five now. The top five. Um, Coming in at number five, I'm sure Jay might have this. I hope he does because this is an amazing opening scene. My number five is Raiders of the Lost Ark, the boulder scene. I hope you have it. <laughs> okay, he does. All right, the boulder scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark. I mean, the way that the scene opens with Indiana Jones finding the ra finding that little piece of jewelry, and then the boulder comes, and then you got John Williams' amazing score accompanying it. It's just incredible. And just the running sequences with Harrison Ford. And I believe that's a young Alfred Molina, if I stand corrected. That's Doc Ock, younger. I, I was right. All right. Yeah, Alfred Molina and Harrison Ford running from the boulder. John Williams score, incredible. Sets up the entire movie. Classic opening scene that it should be in your top ten. Because it is an amazing opening scene. So Raiders of the Lost Ark, the boulder scene, is in my top five. Yeah, you'll oh, yeah, you'll see that. All right, that's one of my favorite films of all time. Oh uh, yeah, number five, top five. Number five for me is I'm a sci-fi junkie, and this is considered one of the great sci-fi films of all time. And I absolutely love just how smart and intellectual this opening is. It's the opening to 2001: A Space Odyssey. It's the dawn of man, the creation of man, the evolution. No, not our evolution. Another evolution. <laughs> it's a different evolution, uh, inspired by our evolution. I'm kidding. Uh, it just it shows the creation of man and stuff, and the creation of our world and stuff through all visuals. Again, I'm a sucker for visual storytelling, and the first like. 35 minutes of 2001 Space Odyssey, there's no dialogue, it's the creation of man, of human beings, of space and technology, the, technolo the technological advancements of the humankind and stuff, and I love the opening sequence to 2001 Space Odyssey. I remember first watching 2001 Space Odyssey, like, eight years ago, had no idea what it was about, I, and then this opening came, I'm like, I know this music from The Simpsons, but, uh, I... I, I was just like, what am I watching? Like, what's happening here? But then when I kept going, I'm like, oh, I understand what this movie's about. But 
it just it, showing all these like creatures, these apes, they, they turn to humans, and just it's no dialogue whatsoever. If you're a person who gets bored very easily, then definitely this is not an opening sequence for you, and this movie's not for you. But I'm all into thinky kind of films, intellectual sci fi films, and this opening is just brilliant. Stanley Kubrick, this is his masterpiece, and the way he directed this opening sequence is masterful. The visuals are amazing, and just, yeah, it was a way ahead of its time, this film, and yeah, brilliant. Two thousand one. Interesting. Did not have that on my list, but it, the way you described it has me very interested, so very good pick there, man. All right, coming in at number... Uh, coming in at number four is another classic opening. Again, I keep going in the route of Spielberg, but it, he has the best opening scenes to his films. Uh, coming in at number four is the Jurassic Park opening. Shoot her! Shoot her! <laughs> <laughs> Shoot <laughs> Yeah, Jurassic Park, the way that film opens just sets you into Jurassic Park. I mean, with the Velociraptor, shoot her! And the soldiers surrounding it, the Velociraptor eats a couple people. It just, it really made me scared shitless when I was a kid. But it just makes me so immersive into the world that Spielberg has created in Jurassic Park. And of course, John Williams scored the opening, just sets you in the doom. And, uh, yeah, that sequence right there is just absolutely incredible. And Jurassic Park, the way they get into the park and all that is all great. But it was that opening scene in Jurassic Park that got me invested. So, there you go, Jay. Yes, uh, fantastic. I love that opening scene. Uh, yes, number four. Okay, don't be alarmed, everyone. You, This might be a shock for everyone. Like, this is going to blow people away. Everyone's going to be like, what? It's going to shock you. It, it will. Trust me. Get ready for it. It's, it, it's going to shock you. Number four is the opening to Blade Runner. Whoa. Oh, yeah. my favorite movie. Like, whoa, who saw that coming? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I know. Everyone's like, oh, come on, Jay. Like, this is so unoriginal of you. Shut up. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Anyways, um, 1982's Blade Runner, favorite film of all time. This opening scene is fantastic. The score by uh, Vangelis is so good. It just shows you just the, the establishing shot of this dystopian world. Beautiful. The cinematography, beautiful. Dr Jordan Crenworth, though, who did the cinematography for this film, did the cinematography for this film. Absolutely stunning. And all you see is the eye. It's someone's eyes. And then it cuts back to the dystopian world. Then the eyes again. It is symbolic of the eyes of the uh, the eyes of the beholder. Very homage to Twilight Zone and stuff. And it establishes the film noir tone. And it establishes the tone of the film where it's going for and stuff. And showing the kind of world and setting that we're about to go through and stuff. And I absolutely love it. Seeing the, the billboards, the buildings, and just how this is shot is incredible. And then, of course, the interrogation scene with William and the Blade Runner doing the interrogation scene and him fucking killing him and stuff. Fantastic scene. Yeah, actually, first time, it's the first time... It's the first time you get to see how they test who's a replicant or not. It's a psychological test and everything, and it's so good. The whole opening scene is brilliant. It's my favorite film of all time, so shocking, right? But still, Blade Runner. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was wondering where you were going to put Blade Runner, but uh, that's not on my list either, but that's a good choice, man. Really good choice. I, I have Blade Runner 2049, but still, I can get, get why it's up there for you. All right. Coming in at number three is something that Jay already mentioned, again, but uh, you, the way you described it, man, was absolutely perfect. And that is the opening to Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. I mean, back then it was Star Wars, but now it's Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Just the way Jay described it, I mean, the opening crawl, it doesn't technically count, but I still count it. But then we get right to the opening shot of the Star Destroyer chasing after that pod. And John Williams' score accompanying it is fantastic. And we see C-3PO and R2-D2 giving their banters back and forth. Princess Leia as well. And then we see Darth Vader show up. Incredible opening sequence right there. And it just sets up the entire tone of the film extremely well. And it's what made Star Wars what it is today in this iconic franchise. 
And so, it's it's kind of a cheat, but it, come on, how can this not be in your top ten list? So, the opening to A New Hope, my number three, hands down. So good. Uh, yeah, of course. Star Wars. Anyways, top three. Oof, top three. Number three. Um, this is an amazing movie. Uh, it's not like my favorite film of all time, but it's such a great film, and I loved it mostly because of this opening scene. The rest of the film is fantastic. It's a great art house action film, but the opening I loved. And it's the opening to Drive, 2011's Drive, with Ryan Gosling, and I... Yeah. <laughs> That's my impression of Free Willy. <laughs> but yeah, I Drive, um, again, the, the soundtrack is badass in this movie, and it just shows Ryan Gosling is on, a, on the phone, he's got his badass scorpion jacket, and he, he explains the rules of how he drives criminals around and stuff, and again, there's no dialogue when he's in the car. And the reason I love this opening sequence is because you feel like you're in this car, with Ryan Gosling and, and these criminals when he's like trying to outrun the cops in this car chase. This is the great one of the greatest car chase sequences in a film. And this is the open. This is how it opens and stuff. And again, it's the the camera's all in the car with Ryan Gosling and stuff. He's got his watch on his uh, on the steering wheel and he just like goes at it. He's got police radio. Just, you see his mindset of how when he drives people around, drives these criminals around and just it's so intense. So, like, your heart races the whole sequence. You're like, oh my god. Like, because you feel like you're in the, the passenger seat with Ryan Gosling. You're just like, oh my god, are we going to get out of this? And it's so good. And how it ends and stuff, how he goes into the, the basketball stadium and stuff, and how he loses to the cops. It's so fucking cool. It's so genius film filmmaking. Nicholas Wending Refn, this is his best film ever. And this opening scene was awesome i loved it as soon as that opening sequence happened i'm like this is going to be a fantastic film yeah i love that scene one of the greatest car chase scenes ever drive drive <laughs> that's how i drive <laughs> that's a good pick man excellent pick right there all right let's get to my number two coming in at number two for me is something that jay has already mentioned and uh i was wondering where this scene was going to be and I was kind of shocked that it was that low, but still, it's an amazing opening scene. That is the, the bank robbery in the Dark Knight. Dark Knight is my second favorite film of all time. This opening is fucking amazing, fucking incredible. I'm just kidding. Yeah, the way you described it, Jay, is perfect. Hans Zimmer's score, just the opening. You can see, you know, the Warner Brothers logo, the Dark Knight, and everything. We see the Joker pop up on screen with his other hooligans and their clown masks and they rob the bank. William Fitchner as well shooting them up and the Joker going, I'm afraid what doesn't kill you simply makes you stranger. And then they rob the bank with the money and they ride off on a school bus and that's where the film begins. One of the greatest films of all time. Christopher Nolan is a god. The way he shot this entire sequence the way he had Hans Zimmer's score incorporated and as well as made the Joker look like a creepy fucking guy and not like the regular Joker from the cartoon just this creepy hooligan creepy guy and it's just the way it was shot is the greatest bank robbery scene of all time it, it just sets up the Joker especially he is one of the greatest villains of all time just his perfect dialogue and the way he looks just sets up the Dark Knight being in a masterpiece Dark Knight is a masterpiece Christopher Nolan's best film in my opinion so Dark Knight my number two yeah Dark Knight amazing great superhero movie ever uh so good all right coming in number two for me is a Martin Scorsese film and it's not good films, but it is another great Scorsese film that it's not a lot of people's favorites, but it's definitely one of my favorites. It's the opening to Hugo. I, I love this uh, opening to the scene of Hugo, and it's one of my favorite Scorsese films. Yes, yeah, Scorsese did a kids movie. Like, that's incredible. And uh, the cinematography, again, it is gorgeous. Robert Richardson's cinematography is gorgeous. And you basically get to you get introduced to every single character in six minutes. It's in the train in the train station, and you get to know every one of these characters, all within a couple shots. You get to know Hugo Cabret, who lives in the clock towers, and what he does and stuff. You get to meet Ben Kingsley, the toy maker. You get to meet Sasha Baron Cohen, the flower lady, Chloe Grace Moretz. Every character, 
all in this sequence. It establishes every character in six minutes. You know everything about these characters in six minutes. It's very hard to do, but he managed to do it, and it's beautiful. The cinematography is gorgeous. The production is amazing. The fantastic score is so good. I don't know what it is about this opening scene. It's so great, and it's so fun. You get to see, like, Hugo's contraptions. He gets to go down the slide all through these, like, cl clock towers and stuff. It's really cool and just so trippy. And, yeah, it's one of my favorite opening scenes ever. I love it. Hey, I'm not blaming you, man. It's Scorsese. Scorsese. Yeah, pretty good choice, man. Pretty good choice. All right, so my number one... Jay already knows what my number one is. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. And it is the greatest movie song of all time. And it's my favorite Disney movie and animated film of all time. The Circle of Life. The Lion King is my number one. Uh, it's The Lion King. How could you not have this at number one? This is an incredible opening sequence. This is how you start off a film in an animated Disney film. I mean, just the circle of life playing, seeing all the animals go to Pride Rock, and then you see Mufasa come out, and you see uh, Sarabi, and then you see Rafiki walking up, and then baby Simba holding him up, Rafiki. Ah, it's a Benya! <laughs> uh, yeah, perfect opening sequence right there. I, I'm being a little bit biased, but come on, this is an amazing opening sequence right here. The Lion King, I still don't fucking know why they're doing a live-action version. It is not, not going to top this opening sequence. At not even close. And just Hans Zimmer's score, just encompassing it, is incredible. The Lion King, Circle of Life, number one. Well, maybe the live action will just directly rip the whole thing off, like Beauty and the Beast did. <laughs> just literally just do the same thing again, but God, I hope not. Uh, fantastic. It's one of the great openings, of course. It's so good. Yeah, all right, my number one. Number one favorite opening scene. I think you all know what it is, because Ryan said it already, and I said it was going to be on this list. It's the opening to Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's my favorite opening. It, everything about it, it's so good. This is my favorite Spielberg film. It's in my top five favorite films of all time. It's amazing. It establishes the character that we all know and love, our hero, Indiana Jones himself. It opens with them in the forest and stuff, and you see all these men walk by. You don't know which one's Indiana Jones yet until someone pulls a gun. And he just turns around, whips him with his whip, and the gun flies out. Then he comes out in the shadows with his hat. I'm like... There's our man, there's our hero, Indiana Jones, motherfuckers. Harrison Ford, with that really slim mustache. Yeah, it's so good. But then he goes into the cave and stuff, and he goes with Alfred Molina, Dog Cock himself, and going through all the traps and all the freaking things coming out of the wall, the darts shooting out. He yeah, slowly has to get the little object, he has to put the sand in, then the boulder chases him. All this happens in the opening, and it's so fucking great. He gets the Alfred Molina get, like, sliced through the back of his neck. Really great shit. Really cool shit. Ah, oh. <laughs> Adios, amigo. <laughs> And then you get to, then it also introduces the villain, like when he comes out and stuff, you get to see Belloc with the Fobidos, he takes it, takes his little object, and Indy, Indiana Jones is running down the hill, they were getting chased by the Fobidos. Then he goes into the plane with a snake on it, there's a big snake in here, Chuck! <laughs> so good, and I love it, it's got humor, it's got action, it's got adventure, it's got thrills, it's got everything that you want in an action-adventure movie. It's Raiders of the Lost Ark, one of the great openings of all time, Indiana Jones. Watch, watch. <laughs> so yeah, that was our top 10 favorite opening scenes in movies, great top 10 list, we had a lot of similarities this time, it just goes to show you we have a lot in common in film, we're just, we're simpatico, me and Ryan, but yes, thank you for having me on the show, <laughs> thank <laughs> alright, <laughs> 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 Alright, thank you for coming on my channel, Ryan, for another top 10 list. This is fun as usual. So much fun doing this list. Tell everyone, tell all my subscribers where they can find you. 
Yep, you guys can find me over on YouTube at Ryan O'Toole, just my name, really easy. You could search me on there, be the only one to pop up. I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, rotten or fresh like Jay said, all kinds of fun movie stuff you see on Jay's channel, you'll see on my channel. And I also have a Stardust, just like Jay, at a Ryan Movie Review. Go follow me on all that social media right there and come join me. Love to talk movies with you guys. Jay, it's an absolute blast, man. Can't wait for our next one. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bravo, 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 bravo. Thank you, Ryan, for being on the show. And yes, in the comment section below, please tell me. You probably will disagree with us, but give us your top 10 favorite opening scenes in the comment section down below. I'm curious to know. Give your thoughts and opinions, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side. Dark side.